Yeah, rain, rain and more rain, but there is still football. The CONCACAF Nations League continued on Thursday with group action in Leagues B and C. Let's see those results. League B, St. Kitts and Nevis and St. Lucia drawing nil all. Guadeloupe beating St. Martin 2 nil. And then in League C, British Virgin Islands 2-1 over Dominica and Aruba 4-1 over the U.S. Virgin Islands. We also saw action in League A where the quarterfinal first legs got underway with two identical scorelines. Panama blanking Costa Rica 3-0 and Trinidad and Tobago falling to the United States. Despite losing Noah Ponder to a 37th minute red card, the Soka Warriors held the Americans goalless until the 82nd minute when Ricardo Pepe scored goals from Anthony Robinson in the 86th and Giovanni Reina in the 89th completed the win for the USA. Their head coach, Greg Beralta, expressed satisfaction with his team's performance. We lacked a little bit of precision and you see there was a lot of moves in the first half that were pretty good moves that just the final pass was missing or the first touch was missing. We didn't lose structure, we didn't lose determination to try to get the goals and then when we did you see we kept doing and we were able to get three which puts us in a very good position to advance. We know we still have work to do. We know there's 90 minutes left. We're not done, but big credit to the guys. Let's now hear from the Soka Warriors head coach, Angus Eve. It's to get red card at, uh, in the 37th minute and until about 81 minutes uh, before we get uh, any of the goals. I uh, thought it was a tremendous effort by the guys. Um, I thought we, we were in the game until we got uh, the red card. And when, even said when we got the red card, we still acquitted ourselves very well. We, it, it, it forced us to change a lot of things that we wanted to do in the second half. Um, but at the end of the day, I think it's no uh, disrespect for what, what we did here today. Yeah, no disrespect indeed. Lance, yesterday I said it, that it was about damage limitation for Trinidad and Tobago in that game against the USA. And they did an excellent job uh, on the defensive end, just being... Um, solid and dogged and fighting all the way. The Americans just having the superior quality though and getting three late goals to, to win that match um, and uh, to take back to the Hayes, the Crawford Stadium for the second leg on Monday. On the attacking end, zero shots on target for Trinidad and Tobago, just one shot in the entire match. But again, signs of improvement when you think about where this team was um, three or so months ago. Yeah, painful loss for TNT, Ricardo, because we have to consider that late in the first half, they got that Noah Powder red card. So they played a huge portion of this game with just 10 players. And uh, to hold the USA scoreless for probably about an hour or just under an hour was a solid advert for their tenacity. Having said that, as uh, Bear Halter, the U.S. coach, suggested, uh, the USA just weren't as clinical as they needed to be because yeah. they did get a few opportunities to score earlier in the match. But when they scored the first one in the 82nd minute, uh, the second and thirds came pretty soon after that and deflated the TNT team. But I thought it was a stout, robust effort from the TNT squad. Um, Levi Garcia, the AK Athens uh, forward, who came on in the second half, showed glimpses of how potent a striker he can be, if given the service, because when he came on in a short-handed team or a short staff team, he didn't really have much support on the front end. But even on his own, there are a couple of times where you saw that he had the U.S. defenders thinking twice about their, their moves. Players like Andre Raymond and so on coming through from the back uh, were really, really dedicated and diligent in their in their duties last night and a painful loss for TNT to be honest um it certainly didn't look for long periods in this match that TNT would be losing this game by three goals to nil and uh, to fight the way they did with 10 players I think speaks volumes to their um, tenacity and determination to get a result from last night's game
Yeah, without a doubt, Lance. Now, three changes made to the team for the second leg, which will be played on Monday. Of course, Powder, after his red card, he's out of the squad, will not be able to take part in that one. Dwayne Maquette and Kevin Goddard um, also in the squad. And Jabari St. Hilaire comes in for Russian Sandy in the goalkeeping position for that game on Monday. We take a break. We'll be back to close the show with Interactive, which will include our Sportsmax class moment.